Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Resurgence with BFC Dynamo. And uh, today, uh, it's a, a rematch from the first game of the season. Uh, we're away against a young Regensburg because we had an amazing start to the season, beating them 4-0 uh, at home. Let's see if we can do the double and beat them in the away leg. But things have been a bit difficult recently. The form has kind of dipped and we've, um, we've struggled to get results. After a good start, we've hit a bit of a tough run. Last episode, it was a fairly uh, anticlimactic uh, Osberliner derby as we took on Union Berlin, and it ended goalless, and there weren't a great deal of highlights and chances. It just wasn't a very good game, so a uh, bit underwhelming for a derby, but um, still going to play them again this season. We'll see if the other game is any better. It's a tale of two pretty good defences, I think. But, um, yeah, ended 0-0. I played uh, five matches off screen. Started off with a win, but only just against Paderborn. Paderborn sit bottom of the uh, Zweite Bundesliga uh, with just 11 points. Uh, we got a 1-0 win over them, but it was very, very late on. We just really struggled to create chances once again, and it was almost a third goalless draw in a row, but for a late penalty. I mean, Mark Brasnitz missed the penalty, but um, the keeper saved it, and Brasnitz followed up with the rebound. But it was a poor match. Again, we really struggled. I'm not sure what it is at the moment, that we just can't create too many chances. Uh, then our nine-match unbeaten run came to an end at the hands of Fortuna Dusseldorf, who are around mid-table. They're doing okay. Again, this was a game where we just really struggled to put stuff away, and uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf with uh, a lot more shots than us, seven shots on target. Uh, could have been more goals, but for Hendel's good working goal, it was just a, a, a poor performance, and it's, it's not often you say that with us this season. I and mean, we're not expected to do well in this league. We're in mid-table, I think we're 10th. But this game, we just did not play well. It was a hand worker with the 31st minute goal, which sounds like a sort of German slang for like someone who, who masturbates, I think. Hand worker. <laughs> what does that sound like? He got the goal on a half hour. Um, they defended very well. We really struggled to break them down. So uh, it's a 1-0 defeat, and that saw the end of our unbeaten run, which ended at nine matches. And then things started to sort of just take take a, a turn down. Before that match that we lost, we actually did a team meeting and said that we had a good start. We were in the middle of an international break and I thought now is a good time for a team meeting. And I said we've had a good start. If we keep this going, there's no way we're going to get relegated, which is absolutely true. They agreed with that. It was a good team meeting. Since then, we've lost three out of four. It was back-to-back -back defeats as we lost 1-0 to uh, Kaiser Slauten, Noah Joel Sarenrun Buzzy. How many names does this guy want? Um, he scored the goal on 56 minutes. Once again, we just we may have edged the possession, but six shots at goal all game compared to their 25. It's it's disappointing form at the moment. And again, we just did not play well. Brasnitz and Fuchs, the two forwards, I don't think they barely kicked the ball. They had absolutely no service, nothing to do. The wingers have kind of dried up, not really um, giving them too much. They're feeding off of scraps, I think, is what we've um, told Urkic in our uh, little meeting when we were, we were having a go in for his form. Strikers are feeding off scraps. We did bounce back. We picked up a win against SC Freiburg. But again, it was only just. We left it late. We did lead. Um, but against uh, 10 men Freiburg as well, um, we only just managed to get the win and again left it late. It wasn't a good start for Freiburg as they got a straight red card on 21 minutes for Derek Kataser. And uh, a lot of the game with that uh, disadvantage Freiburg ended up going with a narrow diamond with just the one striker in the end. So we really tried to exploit the flanks and we went attacking and we had a decent number of shots. We just couldn't finish our dinner on this one. Brasnitz converted a 70th minute penalty to uh, finally give us the lead, but not long after that, uh, Freiburg immediately equalised. Jake Ducore scored uh, on 74 minutes to make it 1 1. I know like that we were set for another draw in another match in which we didn't win, uh, but thankfully, Bilal Kamarie saved the day with his 92nd minute goal, his first of the season, finally finding a goal to Kamarie. Him and Urkic have been. Very poor on that left wing, and I think either one or both will need, will need uh, replacing definitely end of the season. One of them's going to go. One, of, The other one might, but the other one might stay for cover. But um, yeah, one of them has got to go. And then we lost again uh, against uh, Darmstadt. Uh, it was a goal for Felix Platt, an early goal, six minutes in. Again, we were pretty disappointing in this match, and... Could have gone on, gone on and scored goals, but we didn't do that. Key passes made, couple of chances created, but no goal. Uh, Bayern Lick played, again, trying to give him some starts. Uh, of course, we have no longer had Kabea over his injury, so he's been sent back to his parent club. Bayern Lick started a couple of matches, hasn't got a goal yet, but um, we'll give him some time. 
So this is what the league table looks like after 17 matches. Uh, we sit in 10th place. If we can beat Regensburg today, we will overtake Heistenkill and go into the top half. But a defeat could see us uh, drop back. Uh, Cars were also with the game to play. And at Regensburg, uh, just outside the drop zone at the moment on uh, goal difference. So, against Regensburg, of course, we had a brilliant start. We've got a couple of injury issues at the moment. Tim Kircher picked up a knock in training. Going to be out for a few days. So, uh, Dininger will play at right back. And Halili also carrying a knock. He can play, but I don't want to risk him. So, we're going to go with Halbrock alongside Fink. Uh, we'll put Bloom onto the bench as well. See, midfield is very poor at the moment we're really not seeing much in midfield uh, Michael Schlicht has been unhappy all season because uh, we signed Presthofer and he thinks he's being replaced so he's been unhappy all season he's got eight starts he's playing all right he's just not very happy we're gonna start him today let's try and keep him happy I think that might win him round yeah the wingers are not really doing much we're gonna go Salah and Camario today Bradnitz on a bit of a goal drought. Abinlik hasn't scored yet. Max Fuchs hasn't scored in a while either. So goals are really hard to come by at the moment. But Bradnitz has gotten a couple of goals, but one of them is a penalty, which was missed. And then a rebound, and the other one was a penalty. So he has got goals, it's just his rating is not very good. So uh, we're struggling for form at the moment. Okay, off we go. Uh, they'll be after some revenge, of course, but let's see if we can beat him twice. That would be brilliant. And if we can move into the top half, excellent stuff. But we'll see how we go. Early free kick here for Regensburgers Galdino. Oh, it's just off the bar corner. And it's a second taken at 18 minutes coming up. And a header towards goal. And again, it's over. Regensburg knocking at the door early on, but not really doing anything clear cut. We haven't done anything. We've had one shot at goal. I mean, we've got two poachers. That's probably not the wise thing to do. Let's make Brasnitz deep lying on support. And then let's push Camaria a bit further up. Okay, finally seeing us in possession here. It's a throw in, in our, deep in our half. Dininger to uh, Andreas Fink. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, I mean, yeah, put it forward. That's good. And uh, Brasnitz wins the header. Beinlich still waiting for that first goal. Lionel Salah. That's uh, a very good ball for Beinlich. And could this be a first goal? No, nope. it's um, not quite out of play, though. But Galdino wins the tackle there. And now we're Bass to uh, Mahaya. See, I remember these names from that first match. I mean, can we maybe go cautious? That might be wise. But let's see if we can get the ball off from here. Come on, Seca, don't let him shoot. We have done that. But Hendon, thankfully, makes the save. We're going to go cautious. We're going to try and hit him on that break. Because we haven't seen much from us. We've got possession, but we've not really created anything in this match. Another corner goes pretty poor, and that shot's deflected. It's not been a good half for, for either team, really. They've had half chances. Like, yeah. Like, no big chances there. Another pretty poor start. I'm going to say there's nothing to... Yeah, I'm going to say there's nothing to lose. Just do your best. Oh, I didn't want to... I misclicked there. I didn't want to do disappointed. McConnell's not playing well. I'm not sure why that is. Like, he hasn't really done anything wrong. We're going to make him a ball winner. Four people in yellow cards, though. That is a worry. Um, Let's get... Let's take it off. Get stuck in. Let's just go a little bit more pass, mixed passing. I'm just not quite so short. Probably been the better team. That's a foul. Um, McCullen's already on the yellow. He's getting sent off. That's all we need. Right. Uh, Bionic's going to come off. We are going to get an extra man in that midfield. And it's going to be Tomasevsky. We'll leave Brasnitz up top as the lone striker. Now we're going to be careful. Now we're down to 10 men. But just three shots at goal in this match. One on target. That is not good enough. I'm sorry. That's just poor. New Ledomsky for Regensburg. And now Lice. Again, they're going to go for goal here. And that's going to be off target. Yeah, it is again. I'm not happy with this. I'm really not. How do we get more shots for our team? I don't want to go shoot on sight. Let's go early crosses, though. Uh, let's go. I don't know why we're sitting so narrow. Let's go wider. Let them have a bit more freedom. 56 minutes. Another throw in for them. Harting wins it back, though. And now Sulla to Galdino. Oh, that's a goal. That, they, they were always going to score that. Abbas makes it 1-0. We haven't turned up all game. We have been absolutely dreadful. Three shots at goal. Maybe more now, but not enough anyway. Abu Hanna with the throw in. Harting with a, a header that wasn't really aiming for anyone. And then Galdino with a cross. And Abbas with the uh, the volley. Not good. I mean, that again, the, the long balls are just completely aimless. There's just... 
I don't know who they're aiming for. Nobody, I think. And Mahia, Mahia Octa just smashed it in from about 25 yards. So, suddenly we're 2-0 down. We're an hour in. What's happened? What has happened to this team? How, like We started this season with a 4-0 win against this team. And now we can barely get shots away. Mahia, probably about 20, 22 yards maybe. Keeper maybe should have done better. This isn't going well. Brasnic is... I mean, look at the rate. Dining is not good. Like... Sooner we have Kircher back, the better. Urkic is going to come on for Kamarie. Um, For some reason, the ratings are cut off. Why are the ratings cut off? I don't know what's going on. Brasnich, free kick. Come on, let's see if we can come back from this. That's a penalty. Thank you very much. I mean, we've taken advantage of a lot of those recently. That's why we've got the results we have. And that's not good enough, really. We should be getting goals from open play. Brasnich with a penalty here to make it 2-1. And he puts it in. That's all well and good, but if we can't create chances in open play, then we've got no chance. Brasnit scores the penalty. It's 2-1. Okay, 83rd minute of the match. We've got 10 men. We've got a goal. Can we get this back? Hopefully we can. Urkic. This could be it here, though. Come on. Salah's come up, which is good. Brasnit's come on. Oh, we d no, he's offside. He's offside. Oh, dear. Let's see this again, because there was a questionable offside decision off screen. Um... Do you know what? I think that that tells me he's on there. That's 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 not fun. That's not good. That looked onside to me. Like if you look at the lines, the yellow line was ahead of the red line. That's disappointing. Uh, last change. Grisel's going to come on for Salah. Uh, I don't want to put a second striker on because that will just expose midfield. And a bass. And now, now we've given away a penalty. And it's Dininger. He's had a horrible game, and now he's going to get a record. We're going to be down to nine men. Deary me. Right, penalty. We've never saved a penalty this season. And we haven't done one there either. Five, four and a half seasons. Hendel's never saved a penalty. None of our keepers have. But Hendel's played almost every match. We've never, ever saved a penalty. That's no good. And it's now 3-1. And game over, I think. Although there's a highlight from kickoff. There's no way we're going to get this to 3-3 with five minutes of injury time. I mean, that is time. But there's no way it's happening. Slicked. Grisel. I mean, this could be 3-2. Brasnich. Always oh, done it. It might happen, you know. Uh, what can we change? We're going to go, like, route one. Extremely direct. Very wide. Or extremely wide. Five minutes of injury time to get this back to 3-3. Can we do it? With nine men as well. This is unlikely. But we've managed two goals with nine men. Or a second goal. Can we make it one more? Brasnich goes round the defender. Nice finish. Are we going to do it? There's another highlight from kickoff. I mean, this is either going to be 3-3 three, three or 4-2. Abbas. It's going to be 4-2. No, it's not. Abbas puts it wide. 10 seconds left. I think that's going to be it. We're going to lose 3-2 with um, Regensburg in possession late on. Lice goes for goal. That's saved. And uh, there might not even be time to take this corner for Regensburg. Uh, there it is. We've lost 3-2. We had nine men. But we just weren't good enough for that match. Um... I'm going to say it was just one of those days. We had two red cards on this match, which is my fault for going get stuck in, I think. But, um, yeah, disappointing. Our form has really hit, has really like hit a downturn recently. Uh, still in 10th place, so we won't be moving, which is fine. But we've struggled with wins recently. Look at the results. We've lost four of our last five matches. So I think on the agenda for this Christmas break is we're going to get a few friendlies in there. There's uh, three in there, remember. You've got Tennis, Berlin, Zwickau and Lichtenberg, teams from sort of lower divisions from the third and fourth tier. So um, we'll keep our match fitness up throughout Christmas. I don't know if there'll be signings or not. We have the money to buy people. I don't think we especially need players unless we replace the ones we have. But it's not likely that we're going to sell players in January. Because uh, we have like no interest for any of our players. Lionel Salah though. He's still on that non-contract that he's been on for years. So he might go. And if that's the case. We'll need a right winger. But uh, what we're going to do is. I'll play through that winter break. We'll play the odd, the uh, friendlies that we have. Uh, when we come back. We'll do a double life. Come we'll take on Duisburg and Karlsruhe. Past the halfway through the season. 22 points from 18. It's not bad. Like I said. If we can average more than a point a match. I think 40 points is going to be the magic number. To stay up. We have hit a bit of a slump, but for a, for a half season, we're okay. We're in mid-table, which is absolutely fine. It's higher than we're expected to get. Um, the board are pretty happy with how we're doing. Our job security is very secure. But, um, some of the performances have just sort of died down a bit, which is a shame. 
But um, second half, we'll see if we can push on and get some better results. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. And follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I will see you next episode for uh, the two games back after the winter break. Duisburg and Karlsruhe. Let's get back to winning ways because, uh, yeah, we've lost more matches in our last five matches than we have all season that needs to be sorted out so uh let's try and uh, get back to winning ways thank you for watching guys and i will see you soon goodbye